Hi, today we will do some everyday home networking. What we want to do is remotely connect to our Linux computer from our Windows computer. We could do this in many different ways, but today we will concentrate on connecting to our Linux terminal and not the graphical user interface. The Windows computer we are using is Windows 7 and the Linux computer is using Ubuntu version 12.10. Now, to do this, we will first install a program called PuTTY for our Windows computer. So, go in on the internet and find Google. Here, we can type in Download PuTTY. You can download it from many places, but let's go to the official website. We are just going to install the program from this website, but I advise you to read the Frequently Asked Questions page. And it will tell you a great deal about the program. And if you are planning to use it in a corporate setting, you really need to do that. A little further down on the page we have a Windows installer for everything except PuTTY Tell. What we want is PuTTY 0.62 installer. Now you can go out of the internet and into your downloads folder. Here you should see PuTTY 0.62 installer. Double click on it and run it. Here we can click next and next and next and next and install it. So now we have a PuTTY installed on our computer. We can right click on PuTTY and pin it to the taskbar. Now we need to download a few programs on our Linux computer. We do this through the Linux terminal and we want to download OpenSSH which uh, comes with both a client and a server. We don't need the client for this tutorial but we will download it anyway because later on you will use it to connect to a Windows computer from a Linux computer. Now the server component SSHD will listen continuously for client connections from any of the client tools in our case PuTTY. So just to make sure you understand the client part of a program is the viewer. It's the computer you will be sitting at. The server is the computer you want to connect to and remotely control. So let's find the terminal and if you don't see it here just uh, write terminal in the search bar. What you want to type in here now is sudo apt dash get install open ssh dash client and press enter and then your Linux uh, password and now let's do the same thing with the server sudo apt get install open ssh dash server and yes we want to continue And now both our programs are installed, the client and the server. What we need from our Linux computer so we can connect to it is the IP address. 
There are plenty of ways to find it, but since we already are in the Linux terminal, we can just type ifconfig in one word and not ipconfig as we do in Windows. Press enter. Now here on ETH0, we have our IP address. Now ETH0, because we are hardwired with the Linux computer to the router. But this is the address you need to remember. OK, we are back at our Windows computer. And before we use PuTTY to connect, we are going to go in on the command prompt and we're going to ping the IP address of the Linux computer to see if we have a connection. So we'll type ping 192.168.1.100, which was the IP address. Press enter. And you see we have a connection. We see this because a packets sent from our Windows computer is 4 and packets received from our Linux computer is 4. So there is a connection. For those of you who are a little more advanced, yes you can receive zero packets and still have a connection, but that's a different story. On a home network, this is usually the way to check connections. OK, type in exit and let's open PuTTY. Now here you see host name or IP address. What we want to do here is put in the IP address of our Linux computer, which was 192.168.1.100. We want to leave it at port 22 and we want SSH. And we will make a different tutorial where we go through a lot of the aspects of uh, PuTTY. Right now, let's click open. PuTTY Security Alert. If you click yes on this pop-up, PuTTY does a few things for you and you will never see this pop-up again. If you click no, then you will see it every time you connect your Linux computer using PuTTY. Until you actually know what it is, I would advise you to click no. This has to do with security. Maybe not so interesting when you are playing around with a home network, but as soon as you want to connect to a computer outside your local network or in a corporate setting, this becomes extremely important. And this part will become a separate tutorial in the near future. I'm going to click no. And here we are already connecting to our Linux computer. I'll write my login name and it's going to ask me for my uh, password on the Linux computer. And we're in. This is Linux. And the alien you see here, that's the name, the host name of uh, my Linux computer. Now if I do a fast LS, you can see this is Linux. So I have the Linux screen in my Windows computer. When I type in here, it automatically goes to my Linux computer and uh, whatever happens on that computer will return to my Windows computer. Remote desktoping. I'll do a uh, exit. Most of my tutorials are up on YouTube and you can also find them on my website. I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit and good luck.